Old Testament reading is from Psalm chapter 19, verses 7 through 14. The instructions of the Lord are perfect, restoring the soul. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the unwise. The principles of the Lord are right, bringing joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are clear, giving insight for living. Reverence for the Lord is pure, lasting forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, each one is fair. They are more desirable than gold, even the finest gold. They are sweeter than honey, even honey dripping from the honeycomb. They are warning to your steward, a great reward for those who obey them. How can I know all the weaknesses hidden in my heart? Cleanse me from these hidden faults. Keep your servant from deliberate sins. Don't let them control me. Then I will be free of guilt and innocent of great sin. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Our gospel reading is from Luke chapter 4, verses 14 through 22. Jesus returned in the power of the Holy Spirit to Galilee, and his reputation spread throughout the region. He was teaching in the Galilean synagogues, and all were loud in their praise. Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. Entering the synagogue on the Sabbath, as was his habit, Jesus stood up to do the reading. When the book of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him, he unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written. The Spirit of our God is upon me, because the Most High has anointed me to bring good news to those who are poor. God has sent me to proclaim liberty to those held captive, restoration of sight to those who are blind, and release to those in prison to proclaim the year of our God's favor. Rolling up the scroll, Jesus gave it back to the attendant and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he said to them, today in your hearing, this scripture is fulfilled. All who were present spoke favorably of him. They marveled at the eloquence of the words on Jesus' lips. And they said, Surely this isn't Mary and Joseph's song. 